With no water on campus, students at UJ took to the streets. The university and surrounding areas have been hit by water cuts. Reservoirs in Johannesburg are running low due largely to bouts of load shedding. Students say the institution should find alternative ways to provide water. Some are still waiting for their Innis First allowances. We haven't had water for three weeks. Jojo tanks are running on MT. There's no backup supply for water for students that are here currently. That's the first issue that we're facing. So if you could get water on campus as soon as yesterday, then our issues, half of them would have died down. The second issue is the issue of NSFAS. Most of the students that are here are NSFAS funded. Allowances have not come in. They have moved into residences from January already. We're in March. What are these students eating? How are these students going to classes? Firstly, without having showered. Secondly, without having eaten. Meanwhile, Wits University students returned to barricade streets after a protest that disrupted classes the day before. The SRC has denied abandoning talks intended to address students' concerns. Yesterday we met in our SRC courtroom to say, Dean, our demands have not changed. And we have been asking you this since last year, please respond to these demands. And we gave the Dean up until 8 to say, actually we want to speak with the Vice Chancellor because he's the decision maker here. Students' demands remain the same. All students owing 150,000 rand or less should be allowed to register. A 10,000 rand upfront fee for VITS residents must be waived and the Innis first 45,000 rand cap for accommodation should be scrapped. On the caps put in place by NISFAS, the university has no control over this. Secondly, the university has made provision in terms of having 350 um, emergency beds being made available for students in need. The one area where we are still um, not seeing um, a meeting of the minds is with regards to the um, uh, registration of people with historic debt. Protests continued outside the university on Thursday. Balint Lemtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.